Hey guys, Alec Pierce Vintage Scuba. Now this is not necessarily adult only episode. <laughs> It just looks like it. No, this, this, this episode is about some of the great scuba diving comics that we had in the 50s and 60s, more in the 60s, I guess. And this is a typical example. This is from 1968. Now we're talking a new comic. Well, it's new. It looks new. But this, this is a comic from 1968 called Dolphin. Anyway, there was a story about this fantastically beautiful, talented uh, uh, girl who, uh, who uh, could stay underwater, and uh, it's just a great story, and uh, what she does to help people, and just one of those comics that if you weren't a scuba diver in the 60s, you missed. Too bad. Dolphin. There's lots of them. How about this one? This is called The Deep. When was The Deep came out? Yeah, this could have been about that time. Anyway, it's called The Deep, but this has nothing to do with The Deep. Oh, gosh, maybe it is, because there's a great big moray eel. You see that, Kevin? And, and, and it looks like he's got his eyes on this thing up here. That's not a fish. And there's a boat on the surface, and uh, like, oh, and a treasure chest and gold and everything else. So maybe it is related to the movie The Deep. I'm not exactly sure, but certainly it is a, a fantastic looking comic book. If you saw this, if you're a scuba, okay, you're a scuba diver, right? Let's pretend you're a young scuba diver. Um, uh, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old, that's special age, and you're walking through um, the variety store, past a comic. Uh, a display and you see this what's the chances are that you won't buy it what's the chances are you won't look at it what's the chances are you won't look around and see if the owner's watching and maybe flip through it anyway great comic from the 70s actually that now there were lots of them the underwater city here's another one this is from the 60s i'm almost certain this is from the 60s the underwater city another one okay now there were also which was kind of neat there were also series of comics so there was a comic series called primus i have no idea where they got that name i've read most of these comics and i have the entire set of primus comics there's quite a few in here uh, a dozen or, or so and uh this fella here uh, robert brown there was a tv uh, uh series called primus uh, it was also interesting enough ivan tor yeah, the producer of Sea Hunt and the Aquanauts and Flipper and all those great underwater uh, 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 comics, uh, TV shows. Uh, anyway, this is another one he put out called Primus starring Robert Brown. And I've read them all. I have no idea. Maybe I saw it and missed it why it's called Primus. But there's a set of Primus comics. And you can see every one of them. They're exciting as the devil. The stories of uh, this chap, Primus, the scuba diver. So there's another series, which is pretty neat. Now, here's one here. I always like this particular series, uh, uh, partly because of the name. I like the name, uh, Frogman. How can you go wrong? Frogman, right? And uh, this particular series was, uh, was uh, there's 10 in this series called the Frogman. And they were pretty neat. This guy's got more tanks on. I have a tank set with six tanks. He's got three, not this many. But he's got, see the big um, uh, um, mine? Down there, there's a ship that these guys have just blown up. So this is a great, called, the, called Frogman, and, uh, and it was a great series as well. Certainly if you're in the military and a scuba diver, you would love that. Now, you got to be careful, you don't mix it up, because there was another series called The Frogman. Yeah, yeah, very, very similar, very similar, uh, although I don't think Frogman had any good-looking women in it like that. So, so maybe, maybe it's a little bit different. But some great stories in there. Usual sharks, octopuses, moray eels, and dangerous things like that. Another beautiful big series. 16 in that series, okay? Okay, now, here's one here. Earlier we had that book. It was called, um, oh, here it is here. Voyage to the Deep. Voyage to the Deep. There's only four in this particular one. But this is obviously about some divers who went down deep, very deep. I guess a deep sea fish, deep deep sea fish and exciting stuff and then there was another comic uh, series of comic books called voyage to the bottom of the sea you may remember that i think it was a tv show wasn't it or was that a movie yeah, TV. voice of the bottom of the sea and there's a lot of these i think there's 16 yeah 16 there's a complete set voice of the bottom of the sea and that same kind of exciting stuff octopus is eating people and shark Oh, sorry. And, and sharks. And you see the nice red. I had a suit like that one time, Kevin. All orange. And all kinds of underwater volcanoes. 
all kinds of neat stuff there. And then, and then there's another one. This was a pretty, pretty interesting one. Underwater agent. This came out in the 60s. Now, if you remember, the 60s was the Cold War. So uh, agent, agent, the word agent had uh, a lot of appeal. Eh? Agents, whether they were uh, uh, Western agents or Russian agents, didn't matter, had a lot of appeal. So here's, here's a, a whole comic series on underwater agent. Now, it doesn't look to me as if these particular agents <clears throat> are fighting other agents so much as they are fighting uh, aliens and imaginary beings, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Great reading. All about scuba diving. So I decided to share that with you. I have a lot of these, these a bunch of these comic books, all in complete sets, and, and uh, I've had so much fun reading them from the 60s. Too bad. Sorry, guys, you missed it. Unless, of course, you have these old ones, which I will be selling. But anyway, they're pretty neat. So there you go. Just some interesting pictures of comics, scuba diving comics from the 60s. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you. Alec Pierce. I'm going to go read some books.